Stacey Nelson, and my topic is why Depo Provero should not be used. More than 99% of women ages 15 to 44 that are sexually active have used a contraceptive method at least once, according to gutmatcher.org. Throughout life, we all at some point will experience love, most likely more than once. If ever it gets serious, that's when marriage or kids are discussed. But maybe it's not the right time. So different forms of birth controls are considered. Nowadays, you see more females leaning towards should I get the pill or the shot? And I was one that went forward with the shot for three years, so I know all the ins and outs of what it has to offer. Depo Provero should not be used by women that are healthy and middle age. Today I will discuss exactly what it contains, how it's described to work internally, the history behind it, disturbing side effects, and present supporters. Doctors will tell you what's in it, but what they won't tell you is what it can do to your body. So let's get deeper into it. The ingestion contains a synthetic hormone of progesterone that prevents ovulation. It thickens the cervical mucus so that the sperm cannot reach the egg. It thins the uterus lining to prevent implantation. And this information can be found on AmericanPregnancy.org. Each shot lasts for 12 to 14 weeks and must be given every three months for full protection. Some doctors won't recommend staying on the shot no longer than two years because of significant loss of calcium and bone minerals that is not fully reversible. This one is one of the many problems that I had on this shot. Furthermore, what they avoid to mention is because of the high dose of progesterone, it increases vulnerability to STDs and HIV or AIDS. If that's not enough, don't worry, I'm just getting started. Let's look into the history behind this infamous shot. According to CWPE.org, in 1967 to 1978, Robert Hatcher conducted an 11-year test on 14,000 women using Depo Provera. These trials involved many women without their knowledge or consent violating FDA regulations. Several women got cancer and or died during these trials, and their cases were not reported to the FDA during the entire study. Over 13,000 records on these clients were lost to follow up on, and at this time, FDA did not approve Depo. Another test was done in 1968 on monkeys, and similar results occurred 10 years later on dogs. It stated that the FDA denies Depo again. Dog studies confirm elevated rates of breast cancer and increased risk of birth de defects in human fetus exposed to the drug. In 1992, Depo was approved because FDA changed its regulations and began to test in rats and mice instead of dogs and monkeys, which did not cause cancers in these new testes. This can be a hard pill to swallow, especially for someone like me that has been a user of Depo and are now facing the facts. Search any major website for Depo and you will see that the common side effects are headaches, menstrual cycles are none at all, hot flashes, depression, joint aches, abdominal pain, hair loss, dizziness, acne, loss of sex drive, the list goes on. However, critical side effects are barely presented and they are breast cancer, osteoporosis, cervical cancer, excessive bleeding, weight change, difficulty getting pregnant, and vulnerability to STIs and HIV. According to this article found on alternate.org, a healthy 21-year-old woman named Laura Essam shared her experience with Depo. Her doctor said there were a few potential side effects, which didn't sound too bad to her, plus he recommended. After getting the ejection, it took more than two years for her to enjoy intercourse again. Laura is one of the thousand women who complained that Depo turned off their, their libido, aka sexual drive. You've heard why Depo shouldn't be used, but there are others that use it, and this is why. It is proven to be 99% effective. 100% of the users appreciate that there is no reminder to take daily or right before sex. The shot ranges from 60 to 0 to 60 each injection, and pills ranges from 0 to 50 per month, making Depo less expensive and more abundant. It is known to reduce anemia, it eases menstrual cramps, and helps prevent endometrial cancer in ovarian cysts. Dr. A. M. No and others wrote in an article that Depo Provero has its advantages compared to other oral contraceptives because it is effective in safe treatment for endometrial hyperplasia. In other words, the lining of the uterus won't become too thick. But is that even worth it when other factors are at risk? There is a lot this shot, this shot is said to do, but there's also a lot unsaid. I guess the important question now is, 
Is it even worth it? If you or someone you know are looking into birth control methods, make sure that you do intensive research before care instead of taking doctor's words for it. And consider all minor and critical side effects. I have discussed what Depo contains, what it does within the female body, a brief background of how it was approved, a list of common and severe side effects, and I've also prevented you with supporters. Be sure to research other drugs that you put in your body. Thank you.